Hello guys and welcome to this Ollie's on the Ball Tips video. From now on they will be a lot better quality and like this. Okay, so last week I got 8 out of 9 tips, which is pretty good week. I think the only one I got wrong was the Fremantle one. I don't know why I tipped them. Anyway, let's get into the round. St Kilda, Port Adelaide. Should be an alright game. St City on top. Um, coming off a win last week over Carlton, 5-1, and one, only lost to Collingwood, who are also 5-1. Port Adelaide had four wins over some average sides, but they've, they've got form coming into it. So I can see Port Adelaide winning. And expect, they've got Charlie Dixon back, but the Saints have also got some like the Hadjack still back last week in memory. They might be back to full strength again next week. So I reckon I can see the Saints getting over the line by 22 points here with my big call, Ollie's call, being 150 or less points combined in the game. Moving on to the next game, 145 at the Gabba on Saturday, Brisbane versus Fremantle. My tip in this game is Brisbane by 34 points. I reckon Brisbane, with the form, they're four and two losses to who losses to Port Adelaide, and yeah, like they've had an, they've beat Collingwood and Melbourne, so you think that, but then they've had some average games, also losing to the Western Bulldogs, Fremantle, they've had a not very good start, disappointing for Freo fans after their great finals, well. Good finals run last year, making it to semi finals after not making finals for a couple of years. But as I said earlier, Brisbane get over the line here with Cameron, Danaher, and Hipwood combining for nine goals for Ollie's call. Moving on to the SCG 210 Saturday. Now we've got, given there's only Friday night game, no Thursday night, now we've got two Saturday afternoon games, GWS and Sydney. GWS hadn't have, haven't had a great start to the season, which was expected, but as in, uh, they've, they've played okay against the Lions last week. Sydney got smashed by Geelong last week and lots of injuries, both the McCardens, Rampy, Amati, Franklin's back this week, so that might help. But I think GWS can get the upset here. I'm really going for a few extra tips this round. And my Ollie's call is that Tom Green has 25-plus touches. Moving on to the fourth game of the round, Marvel Stadium, 4.35 Saturday, Western Bulldogs, Hawthorne. Western Bulldogs... Not the start you would hope, but I think I think they are back. And when I mean back, they had a pretty good season last year. They lost their first two games, but they beat Fremantle, they beat Brisbane, they beat a few other okay sides. I reckon that they're starting to pick up their mojo. Hawthorne, on the other hand, they're one and five last, but it's promising because their last two weeks have lost by about two points, which is obviously not, well, like three points. Three points and two points. It's not great as a supporter, but it means they're playing well for the first half or three quarters. They just can't put that last quarter together. So once I get that last quarter together, then they might be good and start winning some games. But... Western Bulldogs, I can't see them losing this game. I reckon they'll win by 50 points with my Ollie's call being that Bontempelli has 25 touches and a goal. Moving on to the Saturday night games. Melbourne, North Melbourne, MCG 7.25 Saturday night. Prime time game for North Melbourne, quite rare. Don't know how many people they'll get there. About 30, maybe like 30? About 30 people, not 30,000. No, I'm joking, 30,000. Um, Melbourne, pretty good start to the season. They've had a few losses that they probably didn't want to lose. They were down for most of last week's game against Richmond, but they come back and won 
and Richmond just stopped. North Melbourne, first good two weeks, as in they beat two pretty mediocre sides, one of them being Perth, so that's pretty impressive, Fremantle. The next four weeks, of they've been smashed in every game. They haven't really looked promising. Interesting last week, Harry Sheasel was tagged. So I reckon... I wonder if Melbourne will try and limit his influence influence so North Melbourne have no chance. I reckon North Melbourne are gonna get over the line here, winning by seventy two points, with Jacob Van Royen kicking at least two goals. Next moving on to the second Saturday night game at Optus Stadium, seven thirty. Carlton West Coast. Carlton Started the season okay, that draw was probably theirs to lose. But as in they had three okay wins, no not against great sides. Then they lost to Adelaide Gather and Adelaide come out in that first quarter and yeah, they it was pretty much game over at quarter time. And St Kilda, um, they played quite well against them. As in Carlton played okay, but no match for the Saints. But Promising sign, Sam Walsh is back, back into good form. So, And the other midfielders are racking up the touches. West Coast. West Coast, yeah, they're 1-5, they're probably battling out for the wooden spoon with Hawthorne. Their win over GWS at home. They lost to North Melbourne in round one and then they've had a few pretty poor efforts and no luck with injuries. I think they've got about the same length injury list as St Kilda or even longer. Um, I just can't see West Coast winning this one. I'm tipping Carlton by 22 with my Ollie's call being that Sarah Cripps, Acres, Walsh combined for 100 plus touches, disposals, shall I say. Moving on to Sunday. This is going to be an interesting day of games. All should be, well, two close games and then one probably not so close game. Anyway, moving on to MCG 110, Geelong Essendon. Geelong, I'm not sure if they're back, but I reckon, oh, I reckon they're probably about 75% of what they were last year. It's in three disappointing first weeks and a disappointing first half of round four, but then since then they've come out. But they beat Hawthorne, West Coast, and they beat Sydney, who obviously they played in the grand final last year, but Sydney have half their team out with injuries. So I don't know about them. Anyway, on the other hand, Essendon, they've had a great start to the season. Um, so they've had their five and four and two, and they've lost to St Kilda and Collingwood, the two teams that are five and one. So if you look at it, um, Brad Scott's working a masterpiece so far. Um, the Scott brothers coaching for the first time in the in the against each other for the first time, first time in a couple of years. Obviously, Brad hasn't been coaching. Essendon, they looked good for three quarters against Collingwood, then they just dropped off. I reckon that Geelong will win this by 75 points in quite a big win, with Mitch Duncan at having 20-plus touches for my Ollie's call. Moving on to the second game on Sunday, the Channel 7 game, Richmond Gold Coast, 3.20pm. This is a very interesting game. Gold Coast, not a promising start to the season. They beat Geelong, which as I don't know about where Geelong are, as I earlier stated, and they beat North Melbourne. So there's not much to show. Um, Richmond, on the other hand, they have not had a good start to the season. Sitting 1-1-4, one, one and four, snatched a draw and a win over Adelaide when Adelaide got back within a point, they just dropped off in that third quarter. I reckon that Gold Coast will win this game by 10 points with my Ollie's call being that Tim Taranto has 25-plus touches. Moving on to the final game, probably, in my opinion, the best game of the round. Not the closest, but the best on paper. Adelaide Collingwood, 
Adelaide, 4 and 2, four wins in a row. They've had a great start beating Carlton and a few other pretty good teams. Freeman, well, a few good wins though, big wins. Port Adelaide was a good win. Now both Adelaide teams sit 4 and 2. And Collingwood, Collingwood have had a great start to the season. 5 and 1, just that one loss to Brisbane on Easter Thursday, as in they didn't, they lost by a bit, but that's one game, and they've played well in every other game. This is at the Adelaide Oval, so I'm just going to tip Collingwood. I thought about tipping Adelaide, but I'll back Collingwood in. They've got the form. They've got the list, so I'm back in Collingwood in by 10 points. And my Ollie's call being that Nick Dacos has 25-plus touches. Thank you for watching this Ollie's on the Ball tips video. Hope to see you again.